And in this lesson, we will cover the very popular three fund portfolio. It is a simple yet cost-effective way to invest in the market. And this portfolio takes advantage of low cost index funds to create an instant diversified portfolio across the world's stock and bond markets. This portfolio basically guarantees yourself your fair share of the world's market growth. This three fund portfolio consists of three funds that focus on the following, US stocks, international stocks, and total bonds. We learned that stocks have the highest potential for rewards while bonds provide a steady income growth. And depending on your goals, risk tolerance, etc., you can adjust the weights of these asset classes. Earlier, we learned about the concept of asset allocation, and this is where it can come into play. So for example, if we are looking to have a portfolio with 70% US stocks, 15% international stocks, and 15% bonds. If you're fairly young and are aiming for a high percentage of stocks, you can substitute real estate funds in place of bond, bonds as real estate is another market that usually performs independently from the stock market. Of course, as you near your retirement goals, you can rebalance towards safer investments like bonds. Here is an example of Fidelity index funds that you can invest in. Of course, you can mix and match with other brokerages, or you can use ETFs instead of index funds. Here's the Fidelity total market index fund, the international index fund, and the US bond index fund. Here's the Vanguard index funds, VTSIX, VTIAX, and VBTLX are your ticker symbols if you wanna look those up and set up a portfolio like this. This is an example of one way to build a portfolio. And here are your Schwab ticker symbols for the total stock market index, international index, and the aggregate bond, bond index fund. The three fund portfolio is the most popular. If you wanna go something more simple, you can do the two fund portfolio, which just divides your assets between total stocks and total bonds. You can also drill down further to the four fund portfolio, which just differentiates US versus international stocks or bonds. And then the five fund portfolio adds on wreaths as an added asset class. Now, what if you have different investment accounts across different platforms? You would set it up in the same manner where you would split it against US stocks, international stocks, and total bonds. It may be necessary that you actually look across all of your investments and play around with your asset allocation. I do wanna point out that remember your employer sponsored accounts have specific investments you can invest in and there's a maximum contribution limit. Same thing for your individual retirement account might have a larger range of investments, but there is a maximum contribution limit. Keep in mind though, that the taxable brokerage account does not have a contribution limit. So you can invest as much as you can within this account. The only downside is that there are no favorable tax treatments, but again, the flexibility of being able to contribute more and being able to take out money whenever you need can provide you another option for investing your money.